Did you know that in today's world, home devices such as your router at home, such as your fridge if it's connected to the internet, your DVR and other devices are being put into botnets to launch massive DDoS attacks against companies. This is from Radware. First DDoS attack was launched in 1974 by guess what? A 13 year old student, David Dennis, while he was at high school. The attacks just got bigger and bigger. In 2016, we were looking at attacks of 620 gigabits per second. More recently, that's increased to multiple terabits per second. We've even had examples of 15.72 terabits per second or over 29 terabits per second. The attacks are getting bigger and bigger and more and more sophisticated. So in other words, DDoS attacks are getting close to 30 terabits bits per second. Now what's also driving both the sophistication and size of the attacks is AI. AI can be used for good, but here's another example of where it can be used for bad. Now the good news is that Radware have increased their protection. They have doubled the mitigation capacity of their cloud security network from 15 terabits per second to 30 terabits per second. What they've also implemented across their 65 cloud security centers is Radware's Defense Pro X, the latest generation of their AI powered high performance DDoS mitigation platform. They're doing this without relying on a third party application. So they have in house protection for your business. Radware have some fantastic reports which you can read, including their 2025 Global Threat Analysis Report and a CISO's Guide to Beating Web DDoS Attacks. You could use this guide as an example to talk to your boss, where they talk about how three trends are reshaping the DDoS threat landscape. Number one is the rise of state actors. Number two, attacks grow in size and complexity. And number three, attacks shift to the application layer. As they say here in this report, what are web DDoS attacks and why are they hard to mitigate? So attackers are launching huge amounts of HTTP requests against web servers in order to overload target servers with requests. In this report, they also talk about why web DDoS attacks are so difficult to mitigate, where they talk about asymmetric processing requirements. The payload is encrypted these days. They are attacking the application logic and attackers are using new advanced tools. They also explain in this document how new attack tools are built to bypass traditional defenses. They also explain why traditional DDoS mitigation tools cannot protect against these new attacks. The moral of the story is in today's world, botnets are using fridges, home routers, other consumer goods to launch massive attacks against many companies around the world. It's important in today's world that you have DDoS protection. Have a look at Radway. They've been a fantastic partner of mine. I want to thank them for sponsoring this video and making the world a safer place.